Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Gigstacker. I just finished myself a nice three hour drive going all the way from Seattle down to Vancouver, Washington. Uh, I think it was like a hundred something miles. I'm not exactly sure, but I just drove all the way down here so that I can take the exam for the Washington State Telecommunications Administrator. It's the 09 license that will allow me to become, you know, the administrator for my company to do uh, to do cabling work. This exam, it's uh, I'm not exactly sure how hard it's going to be. Here we go. I'm, I'm about to go take this exam. Oh, also, um, this exam is uh, it's open book. So for my for my experience, open book tests are much more difficult than uh, than tests you just have to do from memory because you'll spend so much time flipping through the pages. Whereas, you know, if you don't know it, you don't know it and you, you keep it moving. Uh, and if you know it, you know it, you write it down, you, you move on. So, yeah. So, uh, so this should be an interesting one. So here we have a binder. Um, this is what is suggested uh, to put together a binder with the documentation um, for the open book exam for the telecommunications administrator, the 09. So pretty much I just went through the website. Um the Washington, uh, Washington State um, website where they have the the documentation. So we've got the um, the Washington Administration Code WAC and the Revised Code of Washington to RCW. And so I've, I just pulled uh, documents that I felt were relevant, um, and I've got it all organized based on the uh, based on the topic. Um, and there's a couple of different topics that we're going to be going over, like grounding and bonding, wiring methods, hazardous locations. I should also have some documentation from the electrical code uh, with me, but uh, unfortunately I did not bring those. So, uh, so yeah, so, you know, it, this for sure is going to be a good learning experience. Um, I've got to get 70% or more to be able to pass this to get my license. And if I don't pass it, I, I can take it again in another two weeks, but this will at least be a great learning experience for me to, to have, a, um, have a feel on how this exam goes and uh, an understanding of the types of questions they're going to be asking. Um, and so if, you know, if I don't pass it this time, I've, I've, I can take it again in another two weeks and, and um, you know, more than likely I'll be able to pass it on the second go round. Yep, so this is it here, the PSI Test Center in Vancouver, Washington. About to take this exam and uh, good luck to me. Yeah, so unfortunately I did not pass the exam. Um, it was a really good learning experience and honestly I enjoyed taking the exam. But in another two weeks I am going to have the opportunity to take the exam again. I'm pretty much going to use what I learned here and uh, you know use that with my future studies. Take the exam in another couple of weeks and hopefully I will be passing the exam. I'm also going to be getting my hands on the NEC. Um, that's the National Electric Code book. Um, in hindsight, it's kind of silly that I didn't get the book before taking the exam the first time. Major fail on my part for that one. It So the exam had a lot more electrician's knowledge than I was expecting um, since it's a telecommunications exam. And, you know, with the telecommunications license, we're not allowed to do anything that is high voltage. It had a lot more high voltage knowledge in the exam than I was expecting it to have. So you know, at least now I know that. And so um, with the studies that I'm going to be doing in the future, I'll be able to account for that going forward. Yeah. So here we have the 2020 National Electric Code book, the NEC book. I ended up getting it from Graybar for about 150. I saw it on Amazon for 90 bucks, but I saw some really bad reviews on there where people were saying that um, the the quality was bad. Um, you know, it looked like it was photocopied or something like that. And you know, I just I just figured I didn't want to deal with anything of that nature. So yeah, so here's the 2020 NEC book. This thing is, this is a thick book right here. 
This thing's like um, 800 pages in total. Um, so I'm not going to need to study all of it. Uh, I'm just going to need to get the bits that are relevant to my exam. Um, yeah, so in another couple of weeks, I should be taking the exam again. I'm feeling pretty confident now that, uh, you know, I've got a better idea of, you know, the, the format and what to expect on the exam as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be studying my butt off for the next couple of weeks. Uh, and, yeah, I will follow up once I take that exam again. Good luck, Gigstacker.